welcome back to my channel if you're new here please do subscribe down below and if you've already subscribed thank you so much so in today's video i am going to talk about my experience of taking a gap year and how i maneuvered my way around it so i did my matric in 2020 and then i took my gap year in 2021 so what happened was <laughs> So what happened was I finished my metric and then I waited for my metric results and all that. Bear in mind that I applied in universities, but sadly, um, the day that I received my results, I got emails from universities telling me that I... I didn't have space like they didn't have space anymore so I guess I'm not the only one who can say this because most of us relate um, I did apply and I did pass and I did qualify okay yeah right so fast forward uh, I think we received our results in February if I'm not wrong if I am, please correct me. So we received our results in February and it was okay, man. Like it was okay. Like I've accepted and all that. But then bear in mind that, um, you know how parents are like, they tried doing their best to help me and they wanted, to, they wanted me to settle for courses that I didn't like and courses that I wouldn't like go for on on a normal day so i refused like i refused because i was like why should i go for something that i didn't want to do and why should i go to do something that i feel like i am overqualified for because i did well in my matric so i just decided to stay my mom was like you know how moms are like she was calling people like trying to get me space and i was like mom chill like i have decided to take a gap year because i don't want to do something that i didn't initially plan to do so yeah i think after a while she realized that i was not interested in any of the efforts she was trying to make so she she accepted and she just stopped okay fine that happened that passed right um okay so in march so it's january february and march yeah so in march um everything was cool man like everything was cool i didn't mind being at home i was like yo thank you for the metric yeah like everything was just cool like watching people rest <laughs> like it was cool like <sighs> like it was really cool and then um march passed april passed like i liked staying home in those months yeah. okay then it was may ow oh, may reality started to hit May. May reality started to hit. You know when you stay home, May, you watch TV every day, May. You watch it to that point that even when you're watching MTV Base or Channel O or whatever music channel or Trace, like you even know right, what songs come, what song comes next. You even know right, you even know you know the schedule, you already know by head. So it got to that point that TV now I'm bored. Like data now, like it's yo, it was expensive for me because like you're not getting any income or anything. You get money from your parents. Now I was fortunate enough because my mom gave me five hundred rand every month. But I just feel like 
then yeah because i had other needs too like i needed to buy things and all that and i couldn't just buy data like got chilled like off it so yeah it got to that point and like that's when i started to reevaluate my life like i i regretted not taking the decision to take any course like go university just to go like just to go and study something like i regretted it okay fine may passed june july august okay no so august that's when my mental health escalated like if you didn't know now i'm i'm a person who i think i suffer from depression sometimes like there's times that i'm in my low lows like yeah but i don't think many people notice but i do suffer from depression sometimes okay right that's not the story i'm telling so yeah so in is it august you know guys accept about clever mo in a film but anyways i think it was around august or september so that time like yo yeah i mean like staying at home i was in the verge of falling apart like i was falling apart man i was falling apart like i felt like divide clagani and all that so i one day yeah when i was asleep i think it was around buma 12 ish pm no am 12 ish am or 1 am like bushi you guys bushi you so like yo oh, i had this really bad headache because i was overthinking about everything i was overthinking about my life about why am i here like like there's nothing i i am doing like yo i felt i felt useless like yo and it was really bad man yeah? it was really bad so okay that day could i just woke up me yeah? and then like i started crying i started overthinking about everything like yo money i over yo but who like it was bad that day so and then like a thought came to my mind or you know what kill yourself get now all like it's very pbc get you know if it's like a romela my welcome message get it in the morning come to my room my like i think you've let's get paid get like open up or before i am very comfortable or like i'm room and guys send and then i sent a message to my boyfriend um come motor i'm even like a tongue like are please call me i'm sending the message guy please call me but i guess messages are ready anyway so i guess boy so i was like please call me he didn't call me so i was like i wrote another message i think i said i'm sorry or something i don't remember very well but something along those lines and then i slept yo guys the police tell and get up oh hi well again now like everybody go with my mother what i'll go like i can hear or she's knocking but like i can't wake up like like when you can consciously hear something in your sleep ne? but you can yeah I, yeah like understand them and i know so yeah she knocked i don't want to make service then she went to work fine okay so after hours at least i woke up at least i woke up that's what i'm grateful for i woke up um okay i woke up and then like i decided to go to my boyfriend yeah okay and then i told him about what happened or you know what baby i'm sorry i did this and that you know my boyfriend was sad guys like he, he was really sad he was like don't do it again think about your mom think about me like and i understood ne? okay obviously for a while you'll understand because you know people who have depression 
know exactly what I'm talking about. For a while, you'll understand, but uh, the problem starts when you're alone and you are the only one feeling it. So you feel like some people don't get it. Right. Okay. I feel your feet and I go your feet. Fine. And then it was September. So I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm not doing anything and I'm not trying hard enough. Let me just let me just stand up and grind, go do my thing. And then I posted a I think I posted no, I didn't post. I posted in November. Yeah, yeah, but I think I posted something like um Hopelahori Kova Banya Gamba to for Marego Banyagan the C V Kupala Lumpot and people were like, Yeah, we'll help you, we'll do that, we'll do that, fine. And then there was a friend of mine, Lerato. If you're watching, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lerato was very supportive, guys. You have never met someone so supportive there. Eh? Like, he was really supportive. I'm saying he, because Kim Shiman, guys. Yeah, Lerato was really supportive. Like, I'm bored, you know, Chumiaka, Arbanyaka, DC, Vigo, guy. Yeah. Things like that, like, cause I, you and I give up very fast, guys. Cause there was a point where I would tell him, I ah, know this thing, I'm like a Moroccan lady. He was like, no, you just can't give up and stuff like that. So I'm very grateful to have a friend like him. Okay, fine. Cause September, I, I distributed my CVs. Fine. I got, uh, no, not cause September, ne? Yeah, I distributed my CVs fine. It went quiet. And then one thing I have to highlight, got my boyfriend, yo, my boyfriend, like, I'm really grateful to date someone like him. I would tell him, baby, I want to go. I remember when, when I wanted to take my CV, go Blue Hills. He was like, no, baby, it's fine. I'll take you there. And he, yo, guys, he didn't mind, Shem. He didn't mind. Like, you, he was very supportive. He was like, baby, nah, I'm going to support you in everything you do. And I'm very grateful for that. Very grateful. Okay, fine. <laughs> Enough about that. So, ah, okay. Kadisa, the CV, Kadisa, it went quiet. And then it was okay from september it was october in october i got uh i got an not an sms i think i got a call from pep they were telling me to come to the interview fine i went to the interview did the interview and i guess i passed it so i started working go pep pep home go for a steal if, if you're from Oliven, you know Forest Hill. So started working there. Things were great. Yeah. And then like I had to leave the job because of circumstances that I can't mention. So yeah, I left the job. And then I, yeah, I decided to go somewhere. So when I came back from where I was, luckily I got another job. Go pick and pay Blue Hills. Okay, so at pick and play, pick and <laughs> at pick and pay Blue Hills, I worked from December the first to January. Was it January or February? Yeah, I think the first week from December to February, the first week. Yeah, I worked there. Reason being, uh, why I left um, on February is because of school, ne? Like, I had to prepare my things. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, guys. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that just because things are not looking good for you that year, doesn't mean you should force things. If it's not your year, it's not your year. You, and you're going to see it. You're going to feel it. But then one thing I've learned is patience guys patience because now i am doing the course that i like 
and in one of SA top universities and like guys I'm really grateful to be honest that I didn't just go for something that I didn't like because of the pressure of going to school the pressure of batwatering the pressure of yeah you know things like that so yeah guys this is my story um and now i am in university and things are looking good so now that i've told you my story let me tell you about um the things you should look out if you're taking a gap year now. okay the first thing you should look out for is the issue of depression before anything because i feel like we go through a lot as people and nobody will notice or people might notice but they ignore but then take care of your mental health because it's important ne? like it's really really important like do things you like if you like gymming gym if you like soccer play soccer if you like yeah things like that like do things that you like things that will distract you and things that will keep you busy okay and another thing is this one is for girls mostly but then it affects boys ne? prevent guys like oh prevent like i'm i'm grateful i'm grateful that i did actually because oh like people are pregnant like yo let me tell you one thing about gap year ne? there's nothing you can do like oh you end up getting pregnant like in most cases most people get pregnant and yeah guys got the power responsibility so you're still young and you still have dreams to pursue i'm not saying baba nalimba that they can't pursue their dreams but it's too early guys too early so prevent guys even lena guys boys yeah guys your responsibility oh it's big it's huge that's why little chabela that's why little chabela but yeah guys please prevent if you can you don't want to prevent just use protection not preventing that's why i gained a lot of weight i'm preventing and i'm not ashamed to say to say that because it helped me okay fine another thing is don't forget to apply when universities open guys like you can just a war level like a fella apply and yeah you can just watch us apply and then when it's too late go on or i didn't apply help me apply guys um, I think every university announces when they are opening their application. So on that day, on that day, make sure that you have data to apply. That's what I did. First day of applications opening, I applied. Guys, to get into University of Pretoria is very hard. So the first day I applied and look at me now. <laughs> yeah look at me now guys like i'm in so yeah apply guys apply 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 and also avoid distractions like oh not guys you have so much time in the world go groove out great yo guys like avoid avoid those things because you feel like that's where you want to be and while I got down to school, while I go, yo, guys, let's am not done fast in the So, yeah, please try to like minimize going out, like do things that are productive. And another thing is, I know job hunting is hard, but keep just keep taking CVs, guys, like. You know, you said CV, print 20 of them, like print, print, go and certify. Guys, now yo, I remember I had a friend here and I was like, we were doing this job hunting together. Yo, guys, we were printing CVs, going to police stations to get, what's those things? 
to get our papers certified good guys because we were serious about that thing of wanting a job because because it's hard staying at home so am i am a guys for your future am i am I like it's not hard getting a job for us young people because even in retail stores they want young people so just take CVs, give it time. And I think they want people around from October, November, December. Yeah, from October, because this Black Friday. So, but take your CVs there before before October. So, yeah, guys. Um, another thing is you might lose, like, that drive in you of wanting to go to school yeah you might lose it you might feel like i not school access nyaga like even when like i came back not when i came back like even when i started my first year like yo guys it was hard trying to start like yo it was hard guys so bear in mind that that might happen but I think to prevent that from happening, read books, man. Like, I think you should read, like, keep your mind busy so that it won't be difficult for you to, like, yeah, blend in with the studying of, with the studying in university. So, yeah, try that. And another thing is people might not understand like where you're coming from your decision to take a gap year or why you're home like people will judge you and look at you funny because you are at home they think maybe hi ah, she filmed me treat like it's okay like yo it's really okay like i feel like people shouldn't have a say in your life like it's okay whatever you think it's your problem ne? So, yeah, I've read such things about such people. Yeah, please, please, for my sake, avoid those people because yeah, ne, people will always talk and they'll talk trash to validate whatever they validate because, you know, some people have beeps because <laughs> some people don't like us personally. So, yeah they'll talk guys so be ready for that okay now so let me tell you about the good thing of taking a gap year um i think taking a gap year will help you evaluate and re-evaluate what you want in life and what you want to do where you want to be and how you're gonna do it because i feel like it made me like be aware of so many things like guys now is never the person who took like applying seriously well i did apply but i would apply after days and days and days i think that's why maybe during my matric year i took um not i took during my matric year um they told me that they don't have space so taking a gap year made me realize how important that was that's why the first day like the first day applications open i was there so yeah guys it opened my eyes and i know most people who took a gap year it did open their eyes because i just feel like you'll never ever take a gap year after taking the the last one because like yo guys gap year is very painful gap year yo you feel like you're not going anywhere and your peers are doing things and you feel like your life stopped that's how painful it is so yeah it made me realize a lot of things i lost a lot of friends things happened and i'm really grateful that i took it actually because it helped me grow like mentally and physically so yeah guys i guess this is the end of my video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe 
Thank you for watching. <laughs>